good evening. Uh, today I'm going to be starting work on the Great South Eastern Main Line, but I thought I'd just give you a quick tour of the newly completed Great Southern Main Line, starting at Shaw Street and Holy Gardens, then going for a new station at, in Seddingwell, Grondinghead Dean Avenue, and up there is Grondinghead St Felix. Then through Rehill City, and there's a tramway we completed. Gettin Transportation Hub, and a new station at Gettin Parkway. Same at Pratt Hill new station. New Sunfingley Woods wasn't a new station, but was originally here, so it's been relocated. Uh, Tronington Power Plant is a new station. I probably went overboard with this. And I might very well delete it off camera. Grunford North and no, oh, that's a new industry. Actually what I am going to do here is I'm gonna fund new buildings. So then by the end of this episode it should have grown a few. So then there is Plendingworth Falls Central and this crazy junction. Plantbourne Woods, Drunfingford Southern, Tranning Hall East, this is a new station. Then along here, down a very long stretch of line to Plant and Dam, that new station I mentioned last episode, which I built off camera. There's Rebra Central and Mindingworth Hillside. And then on to what we did last episode. So there's Branding Hall Penford Road. Field with a newly redesigned road network and well the bit around our railway at least might have to redo the rest of it then down here into New Friendswood Reclamation and I'm like you can kind of see where the old line went you won't be able to give it a few years. However, what I am going to do is just put in a I know that isn't accurate, but yeah. And then into Soothing Pool Bridge, Trunfield Way, Soothing Pool Bridge City Centre, and again, close in 2202. Then through Hending Hall, Old Town Hall, which again will probably be renamed. Slending Hall Lakeside and Parham Junction. And today's work, which will be a time lapse, will involve rebuilding this, realigning this and rebuilding this junction and this station and destroying these bus stops which quite frankly aren't necessary so yeah let's start here and excuse me 
I'll now go and record the time lapse. So yeah, this first bit of uh, time lapse was really quite easy. And after all, it was just straightening a curve. And this was my second attempt at it, considering I had a failed attempt at recording it earlier. Uh, but yeah, I'm like Eastfield Stephen Road does end up getting relocated a bit to the oh no. west I think I think that's the right direction but yeah and I'm like, I've basically it's got no terminus platforms yet trains still terminate there and I think that was kind of inspired off Derby Station, I think, in the UK. Because that does have trains terminating there. Even though... Even though... What's the word? Uh, even though it has no bay platforms. They just terminate in the free platforms. So, yeah. But anyway, that is all really quite simple compared to the work I had to do redesigning uh, Slent Atom Junction. Which was quite a big job. I think. You can see here I'm creating Eastfield Stephen Road, the new station. But yeah, I mean, you, I just had to completely redo Slant Atom Junction because it, it just didn't meet what was needed of it. Like, for a start, the commuter line, which is being changed. I am building a brand new alignment. You'll see that next episode. You got we'll have a brand new commuter line and the existing line will be for express services only. So yeah. Um Yeah, and I need to get better at this post-commentary thing. Um, what am I thinking? Yeah, but basically what happened is I recorded all this video last weekend and well, I've only just got around to recording the audio now. If I'd had time amid the cricket season, I would have probably released this uh, Friday just gone as I'm recording. But yeah. Didn't have the time. And now on to the meter this time lapse. Because, well, First off, the line from Marning Pool to the junction had to be realigned. I've got it on a really nice viaduct now. Which I'm really quite happy with. Yeah, it just keeps it level. And um, yeah, this did require some work, and the road network gets a bit of an overhaul too. So, 
So yeah, and on like currently, or well, yeah, you'll see me destroying the entrance to Slentarton City Centre Station. There's a frame for what would have been Slentarton Junction Station, but yeah, it's just all changing. It's just as I said that change in the commuter line just changes the entire dynamic of this junction. So yeah, well here's the aforementioned road network overhaul, which I'm, I'm quite happy with. There are quite a few crossing spaces. So yeah, pretty successful I reckon. Then destroying this part. Yeah, and if I remember rightly, Slentas now has, I think it's three stations. So you've got Slentaton City Centre, Slentaton Junction, and I think I called the express station Slentaton New Street or something like that. Because, yeah, I mean, Slentaton and Slentaton put together, like, they're essentially one city. Uh, they they need an express station. It is just too big a town to not have one. And yep, there's a change to Slendarton City Centre, and now a grade separated junction yeah I don't know why I put this on its sidings operational complexity I guess you could say yeah, so that is the new Slentaton Junction Oops, and so what to build the stations. But, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was when I tried putting some music on whilst I built, only to then realise that counted as desktop audio, which is what the computer was recording. So, yeah, bit of a mistake on my part, but yeah, I don't think that's enough of a song for me to be infringed with copyright. For those of you interested, by the way, obviously that was an advert, as YouTube tends to do, followed by the first, what, millisecond, I think, of a song called Prince of Peace by Pilsen United, which you, if you know anything about the, or, sorry, if you know anything about the Christian music world, you'll know who Hillsong United are. And this is me just trying to work out where to put Slentaton Junction Station. And I eventually went over there. And yeah, I just decided to ignore the fact that part of the platform clips through the bridge but that's the sort of thing that is disclaimed by JGR. JG Renison I think is GitHub name is. And yeah that was me just trying to decide a name. <laughs> yeah I did call it New Street. Yeah, and now St. Hatton Old Town Hall. Or as it gets renamed to, St. Hatton Ascot Mead, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, obviously destroying all those bus stops because 
quite frankly, the coverage isn't needed. So, yeah, what to talk about next? This is where I'm kind of wishing I was a chatterbox in real life. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not. And I don't get magazines like M4J does, so I can't go through any sort of real news or magazine content. So, yeah. But anyway, away from that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, this is the new Sintaten station. I decided to use the Rotterdam Central, Central station for this. And you know what? I think it looks quite good. I mean, it's a slight shame if there's a discrepancy in the graphics. But beggars can't be choosers. It, the design looks nice. And yeah, if I remember rightly, that is. Oh no, I do need to signal it. I do need to signal it. Don't know when I do that though. How about now? Yeah, and yeah, yes, I'll yawn. Pretty quick work of it. It's nothing particularly exciting. But yes, now before the, before the video ends, I'll sign off. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button. Please share the video and subscribe to the channel. And if I remember, I'll have put a link to my Discord channel in the description, so please do go and check it out. And until next episode, I'll see you later. Goodbye.